Hi guys, Kevin here, MassLibrary.com, co-host on the house show on the Retro Network and on the Pop Culture Pub podcast, and some of you might know me as Hellions. We have another haul video, a check out what I found, a library editions video, if you will, as I am the Mass Library. And today's, today's a little different. So because of people I come in contact with at the day job, um, pretty much everyone knows I'm a geek. And a lot of times I'll have co-workers, um, people I come in contact with saying, I don't know anyone that wants these, but I know you like weird stuff. Fair. And I would rather take stuff, bring it here, read it, watch it, do an article about it, um, maybe put it up in uh, blogging and podcasting circles for trade. Anything other than someone just throwing it out. That drives me insane. No matter how common or obscure it is, how popular or unpopular, um, well-known or cult, there's someone that wants it for their collection. There's someone in this country that says, you know, I don't have that yet. I'd gladly take it. Maybe they have something that you would like. So I really don't like people tossing stuff. So I was given a couple things. Hey, go ahead. Take these. So one, the first batch, is do any of you remember Funny Times? Little newspaper thing. Uh, I remember, I believe, I'm not totally sure, but I believe I was visiting one of my best friends when he was at college, an Ivy League college, and I saw it in one of the, like, coffee shops or something like that. I thought, what is this? And he was like, oh, we all think it's funny, and a lot of us will take our favorites and cut it up and, you know, you put it on your bulletin board outside of your dorm room door, stuff like that. And through my visit, I saw it many, many times. But, jeez, that was 20 years ago, probably a little bit more. I haven't thought of it since. But I randomly had someone say, hey, we have these. Would you like them? Why, yes. Yes, I would. So I just ended up with, a, like, a bunch of random Funny Times newspapers from 2020. And it's just tons of random comic strips and humor and stuff. And like I said, I haven't seen one of these in forever. Or or maybe it wasn't even the same exact thing. Maybe it was, you know, a, a different version of the similar idea that I remember seeing. But I mean, this is crazy. So I was just given these. Um, I'm going to read through, do a post on it, do a review, probably tag funny times in it, you know, just to thank and say how much I enjoy it. So then I had someone say, hey, I was cleaning out a uh, deceased family member's place. I don't know if it was mom, grandma, aunt, like, I, I don't know. Um, but this is weird, and I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it came from either, because everything else I saw was, like, what you would expect. Your popular hardcover stuff, um, things that may have been popular decades past. And then out of nowhere, these. <laughs> I was thrilled. Al Cap, Lil Abner, The Frazetta Years, Volume 2, and Volume 4. I didn't know Frazetta did Lil Abner. I had no idea this happened. And this is gorgeous. So well done. Uh, it's done by Dark Horse Comics. I can't wait to read all of these. And unfortunately, since I have Volume 2 and 4, it means I now need Volumes 1 and 3. I don't think they're going to show up for free. I don't think they're going to randomly uh, be offered to me. So I think uh, I'm going to have to add to my Amazon list here soon. And then, yeah, for sure, I'm going to read these and review them. They're so oversized, too. Like, they don't go to my graphic novel shelf. I have an oversized shelf, but it's also overstuffed. So i got to figure that out. But i got more stuff to go through. Thank you so much for watching all this. Go ahead, check out my blog, check out podcasts. Leave comments if you know anything about any of the stuff I showed today or any more uh, content hauls and stuff I find. Let me know. The more I'm educated for this stuff, the better. I enjoy it. I like learning. So let me know more. And we'll see you later.